One of the most significant scientific achievements of the last century was the discovery of the structure of DNA. The iconic double helix is virtually synonymous with Watson and Crick, two Nobel Prize winning scientists who discovered it. But there's another name that comes up frequently when discussing DNA, Rosalind Franklin. Her scientific contributions to the discovery of DNA have long been overlooked. Born on July 25, 1920 in London, England, Rosalind knew from the age of 15 that she wanted to become a scientist. Franklin enrolled at Newnham College in Cambridge in 1938 and studied chemistry. She then went on to earn her PhD at Cambridge University in 1945. Franklin worked diligently and became one of the world's best X-ray crystallographers. And on May 6, 1952 at King's College London, she photographed her 51st X-ray diffraction pattern of deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. It took 100 hours of X-ray exposure and the calculations necessary to analyze it took one year. This infamous picture revealed information about DNA's three-dimensional structure by displaying the way a beam of X-rays scattered off a pure fiber of DNA. The X pattern of the X-ray crystallography image matched the shape of a helix. DNA is found in nearly all cells and carries the instructions needed to create protein and specific molecules essential to the development and functioning of the body. In fact, Understanding the structure and function of DNA has helped in an investigation of diseases in addition to diagnosing genetic disorders and the development of new medicinal drugs. The implication of the discovery of DNA interacts with social factors as well. The fact that DNA is unique to each individual makes it an important forensic tool in identifying criminals as well as the remains of a missing person. The use of DNA profiling has revolutionized criminal investigations and is an incredibly important tool for identifying the guilty as well as freeing the innocent. Rosalind Franklin's discovery of DNA structure has definitely changed the world we live in today, and it is unfortunate that due to the sexism ingrained within the scientific field at the time, and the fact that her discoveries were essentially taken from her by her colleague Maurice Wilkins, she has never been properly credited for her work as she had passed away from cancer on April 16, 1958. That was just four years before James Watson and Francis Crick were awarded Nobel Prizes for their work on DNA, which was based off Franklin's Photo 51. Rosalind Franklin is truly an unsung hero of science.